satisfied with Roger Goodell contract no easy layups here. Irving, Texas, Jerry Jones sees some measure of victory in the structure of NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's new contract, in which 90% of the five-year, $200 million deal is tied to performance-based incentives. If Roger comes in and knocked it out of the ballpark, he'll really be rewarded, Jones, the Dallas Cowboys owner, told USA Today Sports on Wednesday. You've got to hope that he has that kind of performance. There are no easy layups here on his bonuses. He's got to come in there and lead the division in high scoring. Pardon the mixed used sports metaphors, but Jones, who so passionately fought to delay or prevent an extension for Goodell, seemed somewhat pleased that the new contract that will expire in 2024 includes the structure with heavy, non guaranteed bonuses and that a new form of oversight that will include most of the league's owners will determine if the incentives are met. More, Roger Goodell's extension is last with NFL, heavy on incentives more, Giants owner John Mara acknowledges NFL's mistakes in Russell Wilson, Tom Savage incidents Goodell's previous deal, which has two years remaining, included a much higher percentage of guaranteed money. Those nuances were very important, Jones said during a 10-minute chat before he headed into an afternoon session among owners gathered for one day of league meetings. And what was also important was for other owners to be a part of the process. Jones spoke for about 40 minutes during the morning session, according to one team owner who contended, there was a lot of bluster. Still, there's a sense of relief that the matter has reached a conclusion with the contract that was finalized last week, although there's potential for more internal strife in the future regarding the bonuses. Specifics of how the process will proceed to be determined as the incentives will be based on factors such as league revenues and TV ratings, in addition to more subjective dimensions such as how the commission handles off-the-field controversies. To this point, the league's six-member compensation committee, now headed by Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank, negotiated the commissioner's contract and determined whether incentives were struck. Jones was concerned that Goodell appointed the compensation committee chairman who in turn selected others to the committee. Just by the nature of it, if you have one group set it up, Jones said, it's nice to have another group determine how to execute it. The owners will set up a committee, probably by the NFL spring meetings, and include input from existing groups to evaluate the bonuses in what Goodell sees as his last contract. There's a certain subjectivity to the process as Jones maintained that it's possible that if every owner had an individual scorecard, no two scores would be identical. In a word, it's accountability, Jones added. Not suggested accountability, but real accountability. Follow Jarrett Bell on Twitter at Jarrett Bell. Photos, NFL Week 15 Power Rankings.